Frank Carmody. Today we're going to go ahead and create a drawing in Inventor. So we're going to click the new file and drawing. You could also do new standard IDW. Okay, so now we have a drawing open on our screen. Okay, so now that we have our drawing open, we're going to go ahead and create our first view here. So this is the base view. So we click base view and our dialog opens and we have to go select um, our file. Now I've created a sample uh, assembly earlier, so we're going to do sample assembly, the yoke assembly here. Uh, you could use any assembly or part that you're um, currently using. Okay, so we click open. Okay, and here we have a number of different views orientations. We also can set the scale, so if we wanted to make it larger or smaller. In this case, I'm going to go uh, 1 to 2, and that's going to make it a bit smaller. We can also select the style of our drawing, so hidden lines are removed, or we can have hidden lines displayed in the drawing. Okay, so we're going to have hidden lines displayed. Uh, we're going to start with our front at the bottom left-hand corner, and I'm going to go ahead and click. I can actually move this out of the way to better position it. I'm going to go ahead and click once. Okay, so there we have our first base view. Now we're going to create projected views. So I'm going to click projected. Okay, I'm going to click the, the base view once and drag up, click, drag over, click, and move up and click. Okay, when I'm finished with my four or my three additional views, my three projected views, I'm going to right click create. Okay, so now we have our four views of our, our uh, assembly here. Uh, it has hidden lines. Um, if I wanted to uh, reorganize these, you can notice that I can drag them down if I needed to. Okay. All right, so um, let's take a look at some of the additional tools here. Um, the first one that we can do is an auxiliary uh, view. So let's say we wanted to add an additional view to this um, to this drawing, we click. Oops, we click auxiliary. Auxiliary. We click the view that we want to start with. Click on it. We have to select a line that's going to be our um, our line that it will use to reference. It's going to create a perpendicular view from this line that we select. So we click here, pull up, and we can click an auxiliary view here. Okay, so there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a Control-Z to undo because you'll notice these two views, the one here and here, are, are identical. So I'm going to click Control-Z to remove it. Okay, the next thing that we can do is create a section. Okay, and this, you'll notice that if we create a section, that's going to be a um, view of half of a, of a view of a cutaway of a part. So let's go ahead and click Section. Okay, we click the view that we'd like to make our section of. Okay. Now we have to create our line that's going to be the cut line for our section. So let's go straight through the middle of our ball here and click oops, and click and right click continue. Okay, now we have to choose where to put our section view. So we click just a little bit out from the view and there we have it. So that's our section A. So you notice that that is a way to add a little bit of detail to our drawing. Okay, now the, the next thing we're going to cover is we're going to cover a little bit of dimensioning here. And we're just going to scratch the surface on dimensioning. So let's go ahead. We're going to click dimension. We're going to use our zoom tool to zoom in on one of our drawings. Zoom and pan here. Okay, so we have kind of one of our drawings open here. We're going to click dimension. And we can start to dimension uh, our drawing. Okay, now there are a couple different ways to get dimensions on this drawing. Um, and go ahead and click OK. Uh, in general, uh, for simple drawings, it's probably easiest just to add the dimensions uh, as you see me doing here, just as you would in a regular sketch. You can continue adding dimension after dimension, um, depending on the specificity that you need for your particular purpose. Um, okay, uh, so there we have it. Um, so that is the basic.
Um, and I'm going to stop here for now. Of course, I'd have to go through and dimension, dimension, dimension to finish up this drawing. Um, so that is where we're going to stop for now. Um, basically, you know, this is how you create a basic drawing. Um, so the very last thing that I'd like to do before I go ahead and save is just show you the detail of view of this. So let's take a detail. We click on detail. We're going to select our drawing. Then we're going to select the section that we'd like to detail. Okay. And we place our detail view. Okay. So you notice that this is a blow up of the circle here. So if you notice this, you can see the detail view there. Okay. Now, uh, of course, the drawing is all about style or the um, the standards set forth by your company or class. So go ahead. Uh, your assignment is to create a drawing. It must have a base view. It must have three projected views. It must use the section uh, the section tool. It must use the detail tool, and it must contain dimensions. Uh, great. When you're finished, save it and good luck. I guess I should say save it, turn it in, and good luck.